In this demonstration, I will illustrate how to install the APA system. The APA system is downloaded from our internet site. You have to go to the internet to www.arialnet.com. So I'll click on the Internet Explorer. Here it's automatically going to my website, but you have to put www dot arialnet dot com forget about the start here and here you have the main page of our website what we want to do is to download the APA system for that we go into the APAS and in the APAS we see the download here the download will allow us to get to a location where the file exists the APAS file exists which is a compressed file which will be downloaded into a temporary file on your computer. So I'll go to download. It will appear with this uh, screen, which is telling you that in a few seconds it will download to the, to the proper screen. So we'll wait another two seconds. Here it is. You should put your name here. In this case, it took my name, but put your name, George or Sam, or whatever it is, or Henrietta. And the company, ADI is my company, put your email, in my case it's Gideon at arielnet.com, and we have to select the product. We have many things we can select later on, application, archives, documentation, presentation, beta, files which are old. Well, in this case, all we care is to select the APAS version 13.15.2018, which is the latest one. This is uh, 2010, so I select it, and I have to download it. To download it, I'm downloading it to a temporary file on my computer. So I'll say download. It asks me now where you want to download it, so I'll go to the save, and I'll find a, select a location to download it. So let's say on the D drive, I will select a directory which call... For example, new here, and I'll take a folder, and I say APAS download file. And I'll go into it, but you can go to any directory, and save it. So I say save, and since the file is about 79 megabytes, as you see here, depends on the speed of your internet, it will take a some time to download so we'll not wait for that I will pause it here and we'll continue after you download what you are going to do with it so obviously after you download it you want to find the file on your computer where you saved it so in this case I'll cancel it because I already have the file and I'll go to the location of the file from here I'll go out exit and I'll go to my computer, and in this case, I put it in my file, which is called temporary. In your case, it will be APAS download. I'll find the file, which is, uh, put it by date. So here is the file, the 318, and I double click on it. By double click on it, it asks me, do you want to run it? In your case, you want to run it. I don't want to run it because I already have it on the PC. By running it, it will put all the program of the APAS in the proper location, on the C drive probably, and will initiate a logo which looks like this, an icon which looks like this, APAS menu. So I'll go out of here, and I'll go out of here, and I assume that now I install the file, I'll go to the APAS menu. So you click on the APAS menu, and the program is not activated yet. So you might not even not, not see all these icons, which are components of the APAS system. You need to activate the APAS system. In order to do that, you have to go here and say update license. You see here the code. You copy the code by clicking on the code paste it in the email that going to apaces at arielnet.com or gideon at arielnet.com and send it to me. 
immediately I will send you a site key which you will paste in this location. After you paste it in this location, you click on validate. That will validate the program. In this case, I'm not doing it because mine is already validated. And then you set done, and that's it. You will have the program running forever. You can always go, for example, to the display, click on the display, and you have some sample data if you want to load. And from here, you can start running the APA system. So have a great APA, and let me know, let me know how.